guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a like sit down, chit chat, get rid of with me type of video. I have a ton of new products here that I've never used before so I thought I'd pull those out and use them in this video and then I kind of have a lot of like life updates and stuff to chat with you about so I'll just put on my makeup while we chat about it and yeah. Before I start getting ready, make sure to follow my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It'll all be linked down below but all my usernames are at TessFX. Um, I post more frequently there, obviously, and I post more makeup looks on my Instagram that you may not see here, so if you're interested in seeing that, you can follow me on all of my other social medias. So yeah, I'm just gonna start getting ready now. I already have my eyebrows on, and my eyes are primed with concealer and primer, and I'm just gonna start pulling out some new makeup. <laughs> Okay, so I got a package from Pixie Beauty and it had like a whole bunch of collaborations in it. And this is one of the collaborations with Wiley. Her Instagram name is just Wiley. I don't know if that's how you say it or Wiley. Not sure that's what she looks like right there. So she's a lifestyle blogger and so she came out with an eyeliner here and like this little neutral eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm gonna play with these today. I'm not sure if I've ever used Pixie Beauty's eyeshadows, so we'll see how they are. This is what the palette looks like, so it has some shimmers and then also some mattes. Seems like a good traveling palette if you like neutrals. And then also has this double-sided liner, so one side is like a felt tip marker, which maybe I'll attempt a wing today. And then one's like a normal pencil liner. So I think I'll be using this today also. So other than like introducing the products and kind of telling you what I think, I'm probably not going to explain too much of what I'm doing since this is like a get ready with me. That's how people do it, right? A lot of the time I feel like I don't have anything to talk about in get ready with me's. But today I actually do because I just have a lot going on in life right now. So as some of you may know, I currently live in Georgia right now. Um, my husband's in the military and that's why we live here. We're from Washington State. So my husband's actually getting out of the military and we're moving back to Washington State. So obviously that's a very big move and that's happening in the next month. So I've just been like preparing for this big move. There's just obviously a lot to get done. Um, and I'm trying to still create content for both Instagram and YouTube and I also have a full-time job Monday through Friday So I've just been like really busy But if everything goes as planned and how I expect it to I've been trying to get a lot of videos like pre-filmed and stuff So you'll notice like my upload schedule Like you can probably tell that I've pre-filmed these videos um, but I'm just trying to get a lot filmed before we move. That way I don't miss any uploads while we're moving. That's that's the goal. By the way, these eyeshadows are blending out super easily. They're not like too overly pigmented. I feel like this would be a really good palette for like a beginner if you're trying to get comfortable with eyeshadow. So since I started uploading on YouTube, I've been uploading once a week and I haven't missed any uploads. I've always done once a week. So if I end up missing a week that is why it's because I'm moving and I'm kind of considering vlogging it I've never vlogged before but I think it'd be something really cool to look back on since we're literally driving all the way across the country so since there's no matte like dark colors in this pixie palette it's like a shimmery color I don't want to use that I'm gonna go in with this BH cosmetics palette it's a new one and it's a collaboration with Marvin magnificent on I believe he has a YouTube and an Instagram um, but it's kind of like this little pony theme and these colors here really speak to me But I'm going more neutral because I have a cool product to put on my lid So I'm just gonna go between these dark browns here for my crease but Like I was saying I kind of want to vlog it because I think it would be cool to look back on um, But I've never vlogged before so I don't know if it's actually gonna happen I don't have like a small camera to vlog with I either have my phone or My huge camera that I'm filming on now, which I just I, I don't want to do that. So I don't know if it'll actually happen, but if you're interested in seeing like a vlog of me going across the country, let me know down in the comments so I know whether anyone's actually interested in seeing that. Also, this move is extra crazy because we have somehow accumulated four vehicles, so we're moving all of our stuff oursel ourselves and we have a moving truck plus four vehicles to move and we have a dog, so it's, it's gonna be a, a, a trek. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this in such a weird order today, but I'm going to apply my foundation now. I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I have the color Light Neutral, which matches my fake tan. 
And ever since I mentioned that I self-tanned, a lot of people ask me what self-tan I use. I use the Loving Tan Bronzing Mousse in the color Dark. And it's the only self-tan that I've ever used, so I don't really have anything to like compare it to. But it lasts about a week on me. Um, and I, I like the color of the dark. I don't feel like it gets like super orange or anything. And yeah, it's, it's like super easy to apply. Today for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I have the color Fair Beige, which is going to be pretty light on my skin right now. Um, I've been kind of like laying off the heavy coverage because I just, I don't know, I'm just sick of the full coverage, but I just, I guess I'm just in a full coverage mood today. So we're going to go full coverage. <laughs> I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to be like an Instagram guru. I honestly think this is the most shape tape I've ever put on my, on my face in my life. Let's see if I regret this. And I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and Fair to set under my eyes. I always feel like I have to do this step so quickly and it's hard for me to film because my eyes crease so quickly that it can just be ruined real, real fast. I just realized I just don't have a ton of face products that are new to show you, so I'm just going to be going in with a bronzer that I've been using. This is the Anastasia Bronzer in Rosewood. I think I've mentioned this before in some of my YouTube videos, but I truly thought these Anastasia bronzers were not going to be my favorite. The colors looked weird to me, and their blushes are so pigmented that I'm like, okay, that bronzer is going to just be crazy. But I actually, this is like my favorite bronzer. I use it every single day for work. Um, and I really like the color Rosewood if you're like fair. I have to say I'm really enjoying this Pixie palette minus the fact that this color right here is a shimmer. This is what it looks like. You can definitely tell it's like kind of metallic. Uh, I feel like it definitely needs to, there needs to be one darker color. But most of it, minus like the darkest brown color on my eyes, is this palette. I think it's really pretty and be really nice for travel. And I'm just going to start putting those on my lower lash line as well. Usually I like to like round out my eyeshadow so it's kind of like around around my eye instead of winged out like this. But lately, I don't know, I've really kind of been liking the winged out shape. I think it might make my eyes look bigger, I'm not sure. Now I'm going to try this eyeliner. I'm going to use like the pencil side to put it in my waterline. Mm, it doesn't seem to be like too... You know some like pencils in your waterline just don't show up? very well and some are just like super black this one doesn't show up very well oh now it's starting to break in maybe it's because it was new so now i have some really cool stuff for the eyes to show you i'm really excited about this and i just i don't know what color i want to use i got this really cool package from milani so they came out with like little eye toppers lip toppers and then powder highlights too which i'm going to use one of the powder highlights for sure um, but these are the eye toppers, and if you watch my BH Cosmetics video, they're kind of, they're very similar to the eye lights by BH Cosmetics. And another thing that these really remind me of are the Lime Crime Diamond Dews, like, very, very similar. I think the Diamond Dews might have bigger chunks of glitter, but they're very, very similar, and it's Milani, so it's drugstore. It's probably going to be pretty affordable. All this stuff is available now on MilaniCosmetics.com. But I'm really excited about these, not only because I love these liquid eyeshadow things, but swatching them on my hand, they feel like that thin consistency, kind of like the BH and the Lime Crime ones. Um, I've talked about before, if you've watched my previous videos, like the ColourPop ones, and even some of the Stila shades can, when they dry down, they get really chunky and like really dry, and they just don't wear well on your eyes long term at all. These feel like they're going to be good, so I'm very excited. These are all of the shades that I got, so there's like some very pink, purple tones. There's this one, which I might use. It's like a gold, but it has pink and purple glitters in it. There's this blue one, which I, I mean, I could, I could use all these because I went, I went neutral on purpose so I could have fun with these. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to swatch all of these on my hands so you can kind of see what all these shades look like just for fun and then it'll help me pick what one I'm going to use too. Okay, so here's them all swatch my hand. They're really hard to show on camera. The light has to hit them just right. I think you can see them kind of from that angle there. They're so pretty and these are definitely toppers. So some of like the ColourPop ones um, and the BH Cosmetics ones, some of them are more opaque than this. These are definitely toppers so I think I'm going to have to put something down on my lid first before I put these on top. Um, but I kind of like the idea of a topper better than just a liquid eyeshadow because I think that's what makes them flake less. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use two of them. The first one I'm going to use is Luminous Light. I think I'm going to put this more on the inner 
portion and that is let's see try to see if you can see it in the light but it's kind of like a peachy pink colored one and then the second one I'm going to use is this one which is the gold and it has purple and pink reflex in it and this one is called luster light so like I said these are more of toppers so they kind of need like an opaque shadow to go on top of that because they do have like a translucency translucency is that a word to them uh, so I'm just gonna cut out my crease like nothing too precise kind of just like a half cut crease and then I'm gonna put a light like white cream shadow on top that way they can just go on like a nice cream base so I think as just like the white cream base I'm just gonna use this uh, color what's it called inhale from the naked petite heat palette so I'm just gonna start applying these straight from the applicator and they have just like a little dofa applicator I'm just gonna put this one on the very inner portion oh my gosh it's so pretty wow I don't know these are like the kind of things where you can see them really well when the light hits it so if the light isn't hitting them they kind of just look like nothing which looks really cool in person but on camera it just doesn't show up very good okay so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the second one, which is like the gold-ish one with the purple and pink. And I'm just going to blend those two together and then swipe this one this way. Maybe tap out the end. That way it's blended into the matte shadows. Oh my gosh. I am not mad at this eye topper trend going on. I think I'm just going to add a little bit more of the pink just because it's so pretty. Okay, I am obsessed with these. I love these liquid eye topper trend thing going on. I think they're so cool and I think it's a really good way to wear like glitter without getting glitter out. And also I'm gonna try and do a wing. Now I'm not gonna be able to do this on camera. I'm not good at wings. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll let you know how I like this baby. But I think it's gonna be really nice because I can wear glitter with these. And if you know, it's hard to apply eyeliner when you have glitter on, but these are just like smooth, you know? I'm into that. So I'm gonna apply wing liner really quick and I'll be right back. All right, wings are on. It very quickly turned into Amy Winehouse territory, but we're here. They're not even, but they're on. Uh, about this little felt tip marker, I don't love it. I definitely have other felt tip markers that I like more. I actually really like the Tarte Cosmetics Man Eater one, which I don't hear anyone talking about, but this one has a really fine tip and it's like the perfect liquidiness. This one, is, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it is not matte, which I don't like, but I mean, you can put a matte black eyeshadow over it. And the tip of it is just, I mean, it looks really pointy, but it's, it's just, it's not pointy enough. So I'm really excited to try out these highlights. I'm gonna do that before I apply lashes. These are also by Milani and it's called the Hypnotic Lights Highlighter and this is in Luster Light. This one's kind of like a peachy color. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. They have um, a couple more shades, some more like pinky toned ones. They also have one that I think would look really pretty on deep skin, but I'm gonna end up giving that one away because it's gonna be too dark on me. But I'm gonna apply this one here. Ooh, that's really pretty. I could actually, probably use this as a blush topper it definitely works as a highlight but it's not like really I don't know how well you can tell on camera because it's not a blinding highlight these are very kind of an interesting formula like they're kind of thin but this one has such a peachy rosy sheen I think it could go over I'm just gonna kind of run it over the apples on my cheeks a little bit and then top it off with something else that might give me a little bit more of a glow but this is a really pretty blush topper and if you have deeper skin than me this might actually be like an actual highlight on you a highlight that I've been using every single day that I am obsessed with are these new new NARS highlighters this is in Fort de France and I think this one will actually go really pretty with that color that I just applied of the Milani one. It's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of champagne pop color, but because like, it has like that peachy tone, but it's not exactly the same. These are super thin in like texture, so they aren't super pigmented, but you can definitely build them up to be blinding or they can just be like a really nice glow from within type thing. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of those on the tops of my cheeks. I think you can tell, like, I didn't layer this on or anything. I've heard a couple people say that these aren't, like, blinding enough, but, I mean, I feel like they're pretty blinding. I don't know. Okay, so I haven't used Fix Plus in a while to, like, actually spritz my face. I just sprayed my face with it because I felt like with all the powder in this area, it just 
like it needed some hydration and oh my gosh i feel like a glowing goddess i love fix plus and the original smell is like one of my favorite smells ever it's such a good scent for lips i have the new oh well the kind of new the ColourPop tube lipsticks and i thought that i had mentioned these on my channel before but i haven't and I don't know why, I literally want every single color of these. As you can hear, they're like real metal tubes and they have some weight to them. Like these feel high end and the packaging is so cute. Like the rose gold and it has like the stars. And then on the actual lipstick itself, it has like stars ingrained in it. I don't know if you can see. I only have a couple of colors, but in all of the colors that I've tried, the formula feels so nice. They're not. They're like the perfect satin creamy formula. I don't know. I just really love them. I definitely recommend these. I think they're only $5 each. So first I'm going to apply the color Tiptoe, which looks like this. It's just a pretty nude. Honestly, this color Tiptoe is like my perfect nude. Like it's not too warm, not too cool. I love this color. And then this is the color Boy, which I believe it's like the lightest nude that they have. It's really nude, but I'm going to put a little bit of this on the center. And as you can, I think you can see in the camera how it kind of has like a slight sheen. Like you can tell it's not matte, but it's also not so creamy that it's going to like slip around everywhere. It's honestly just everything that I would want in a tube lipstick like that. And I really need to pick up more colors. But I really wanted to mention this too because I hadn't mentioned it on my channel and I don't know why. This is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss and it's just a clear one. They also have colors. But oh my gosh, this lip gloss smells, first of all, kind of fruity. It just smells like childhood kind of and it's it smells so good. And I this is like only $2. It's so shiny, you guys. Like, you see? Do you see the shine? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's not too thick and sticky. It's just, it. I mean, it's perfect. I'm going to apply some mascara, the Tarte Man Eater. It's just, I'm... Trying to get through this tube. I honestly don't have a favorite mascara. I feel like I just can't be happy with any of them. So if you have a favorite one, let me know in the comments what one I should try out. Preferably drugstore because I don't like spending $20 on mascara. And here's some lashes that I haven't tried yet. These are Euphoria by Jazzy, which I believe is a new brand. And the gal who owns it is an influencer herself. Um, I've never seen any of her videos. I still need to look her up, but apparently her name is Jazzy. Um, and she sent me these lashes and all of them look really pretty. This is in the style Keep Me Wild. This is what they look like. They're kind of PC, and as you know, I like my PC lashes. I wore some last night to dinner, and they were in the style wifey. They're not in here. They're in my living room because I pull them off when I was in the living room. But they are more natural, and all of them are just, like, perfectly wispy and nice. They just, they were really comfortable to wear. I really like them, so I'm going to put these on really quick. And I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I'm really digging this lash brand. So again, these are Euphoria by Jazzy. I'll have them listed down below. I'm sure they're on Instagram. Um, you can go check them out. They're brand new. So no, I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these. They're really comfortable too. All right, and that, my friends, is the finished look. I know that I didn't use like too many new products, but I think the new products that I used were pretty cool. Um, and I know I didn't chat like too much, but I just... I don't know what people care to hear and what people are like, okay, please shut up about. So I guess mostly what I want to talk about is the move. I'm moving. If I'm a little quiet for a while, that's why I am dying driving across the country. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Please let me know if you want to keep seeing videos like this where they're just kind of like chill and nothing is really planned. to just start grabbing products and chat with you. I know those are always the videos that I really like to watch. Again, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I'm using Snapchat again because they updated and it looks way better. So I'm gonna try and do like Snapchat tutorials like I used to do a couple of months ago. So everything's at TessFX. Everything will be listed down below if you wanna follow me there. With all that being said, I hope to see you guys next week. I'm trying to pre-film. If I don't see you guys next week, just be thinking about me. I'm probably driving for way too long at a time. <laughs> see you guys.